In this video, we're going to discuss transformations of functions. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, moving a specific point based on some given transformations. So what we know is the point 2 comma negative 4 is on the graph of y equals f of x. Or we could also say f of 2 equals negative 4. What we want to do is find out what is the corresponding point that's on y equals 2 times f of x minus 1 minus 3. So we want to look at what transformations we have going on to figure out what the new point will be. So first off, let's look on the inside. We see right here that we have x minus 1. And when we subtract 1 on the input, what that's going to do is it's going to shift our graph right one unit. So we're going right by one unit. Uh, I have another video that explains why exactly that is. I'm not going to go too into that now. So we know we're going right one unit. Now we want to see if there's any other horizontal shifts, or translations, or reflections. Um, and what we see is there's nothing else being done on the input. So this is really the only thing that's going to be done on the input, is it's going to be moved right one. So I know that what's going to happen to this point is it's going to get moved right one, which is going to affect the x-coordinate. That's the only thing that's going to affect the x-coordinate. So on my new point, is going to be have an x-coordinate of 3, and then we need to find the y-coordinate. So now we're going to go see what kind of vertical transformations we have. First, we can see that we have a 2 times f of x, because this is on vertical transformations, it's going to follow order of operations. What that's going to do is going to be a vertical stretch of 2. So vertical stretch by a factor of 2 that's going to double all our y values. Now, our, So our old y value was negative 4. Our new y value is going to be negative 8 when it's doubled. But we have one more vertical transformation, and that's this negative 3 here at the end. So what that's doing is it's going to subtract 3 off of all our y values, so it's going to go down by 3. So we got two things going on with our y values. So we're taking the negative 4 and we're stretching it by 2, and then we're moving it down 3. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, minus 3 is negative 11, and there's our new y value. So this is the corresponding point to this point on our transformed graph. So the point 2, negative 4, when we do these transformations to our function, whatever our function is, the new point would be moved to 3, negative 11.